Last month, two of the top billionaires achieved a milestone and created history by taking their own private rocket and flying into space. Several people commented that they both didn't reach orbit nor traveled far into space as people expected. They're even waiting for Elon Musk to boomish its foundational mission, getting to Mars before he dies. Well, Elon Musk on the other side has the capabilities of using his successful rocket called Falcon 9 to cross the Kármán line, reach the International Space Station, and stay there for several months and return safely to the Earth. Despite his capabilities, he's still left behind to make a journey, while Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson have gone too ahead. But there's several reasons why Elon Musk refuses to go to space that you don't know. Hello guys, welcome to Tech Power. And today in this video, we'll be looking at top reasons why Elon Musk is refusing to go to space for a wonderful ride. But before starting this fantastic video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. So let's get started. Elon Musk may have an impressive track record when it comes to space travel, but he hasn't actually gone to space himself. That could eventually change based on past comments, but SpaceX's alternative approach to space travel could explain why Musk has yet to go. Here are four major reasons why Elon Musk is not going to space. 1. Rocket The primary reason behind Musk still not going to space perhaps speaks to the difference between SpaceX versus Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic. SpaceX developed its human-carrying capsule, the Crew Dragon, as part of NASA's commercial crew program. The primary reason behind developing a human-carrying capsule is to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station. After NASA ended its shuttle program in 2011, SpaceX used the Russian rockets taken off from Kazakhstan. The firm successfully achieved its first goal. For the first crewed flight in May 2020, SpaceX launched astronauts Bob Benkin and Don Curley on a trip to the space station. However, Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, on the other hand, have two different crewed spaceflight capabilities. The two space firms are planning to offer suborbital space tourism flights, enabling those rich enough to afford a ticket a chance to experience weightlessness for a few minutes. Sending their founders in these flights demonstrates how going to space is fun, once-in-a-lifetime experience. But unfortunately, SpaceX isn't quite aiming for the same goals with its crewed missions. SpaceX also plans to send private citizens to space, but even these early missions will primarily focus on completing experiments or philanthropic work. This includes the September 2021 Inspiration4 mission and the X-1 mission no earlier than January 2022. 2. Death No one can dismiss his achievements at SpaceX because he has come so far in such a short period of time and blown out the competition with ease. Traveling to space is not an easy task because it carries a major risk of straight death. Even SpaceX's Falcon 9 is built for space, there are mere chances of being blown up to death. NASA states there is a 1 in 50 chance that Falcon will fail, but that's not sure at all. Putting this aside, this does not seem to be a significant challenge for Elon Musk. Another real reason might be consequences leading to death. Considering his two successful companies, it clearly states that Elon Musk will not risk the bright future of these two major companies for a single joyride to space. 3. Time Schedule Moving on, another primary reason for Elon Musk refusing to go to space is their time schedule. Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic are built and designed with minimal training and effort, which means that the trip will only take a few minutes. On the other hand, Elon Musk's Falcon 9 requires extensive training. It's said that the Axiom Crew-1 will go through 15 weeks of rigorous training before traveling to space. Well, in terms of business, 15 weeks is more than the entire fiscal quarter. Just think of Elon Musk's step back from Tesla for an entire fiscal quarter to go for a Falcon 9 training. I don't think Elon Musk will survive and cope up with Tesla being hit by the market. This month, two high-profile spaceflight founders crack headlines with two trips. Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson flew on the firm's first fully crewed mission on July 11th. The ship reached a maximum altitude of 53.5 miles or 86 kilometers before returning to Earth. On the other hand, Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos flew on the firm's first crewed mission on July 20th. The capsule reached a maximum altitude of 66.52 miles or 107 kilometers before returning to Earth. However, Musk has not yet gone to space. 
and it's also unclear how high Musk will go far into space. While this Gulfstream G550 private jet is rated for a maximum altitude of 51,000 feet or 15.5 kilometers far by both Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson gone and made as to the boundary to space. But although Musk's rocket is not given a green signal of going to space soon, there's a valid reason why he hasn't employed his SpaceX firm to send him the rest of the way. However, Musk has expressed his interest in space on multiple locations but couldn't find a way to go to space. In 2018, Elon Musk said that he would go to space with Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa on a trip around the moon. In 2023, Mizawa will fly with Bezos because SpaceX is currently developing its Starship rocket designed to support crewed missions to Mars. In the early mid-2022, the firm will likely send the first crewed mission as a trial basis to get a clear idea about the results. That clearly specifies that Musk could go to space sometime this decade. Musk can travel much further to the moon is a million miles away from Earth compared to Branson or Bezos. According to a new report claim, Elon Musk can go to the edge of the Earth in a Virgin Galactic rocket as one of the few people in the world who can actually afford a ticket aboard the rocket. This makes sense. However, it's still unconfirmed whether Musk will go with Branson's rocket to the upper atmosphere. But a tweet from Branson featuring the two billionaires together suggests that it could happen. Musk's love of space and deep pockets also suggests that he's a prime candidate for this new type of billionaire pastime. It sounds like Elon Musk doesn't want to go to space. But deep down, after five years or a decade, Elon Musk will aboard to space with its rockets and make this thing happen. As you can see, Elon hasn't refused to go to space, and it seems that these reasons are fair enough to prove. With that being said, Elon Musk also stated that he would be down to die on Mars. Well, that's what he's been thinking. Born on Earth, die on Mars. So, what do you think about Elon Musk traveling to space? Will he go to space for a ride, or will he stay down on Earth, modernizing the entire world? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and we will be happy to hear from you. Also, if you found this video interesting, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.